Steve Majoris is the marketing director for Chevrolet Cars and Crossovers. And Steve, here we are at the Detroit Auto Show. You got a brand new crossover, the Traverse. What'd you do to this thing? How'd you change it and why? Well, it's an uh, exciting day for us at Chevrolet to bring the 2018 Traverse uh, reveal it here at the, at the North American International Auto Show. A couple things. First and foremost, like all of our products, when you listen to your customers, I think you come up with great enhancements and great changes. You know, this segment's very interesting in that it's got high loyalty, Traverse has got high loyalty, and so there are things that people didn't want us to change. They want a passenger seating, they want high functionality and high utility. But there were things that people said, you know what, we'd like a few things different about this vehicle. The first thing you'll notice, obviously, is dramatically different styling. Uh, it's a little more rugged. It borrows some of the cues from our full-size uh, sport utilities. Um, and it just has that sense of a little more planted, uh, I think a more mature presence to it. So it, it kind of screams a little more traditional SUV, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, but it goes well beyond that if you look at some of the, the features and the content that we brought to market. So again, retains a lot of things like eight passenger seating, et cetera, but new safety technologies. I, we, I like to say it's the kitchen sink of all the great safety features that we bring to market uh, and infotainment technology. So on the inside, you're going to get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You're going to get high functionality things like power folding third row seats and select trims. Um, just making the vehicle, I think, more user friendly which is kind of what people wanted from us. Um, even things like, as we, as we get around to the backside, gesture-free lift gates. So little conveniences that make the vehicle, uh, I just think, much more of a, uh, a utility vehicle that really meets people's everyday needs. You say gesture-free, I mean, what do gesture you mean? Gesture-free, so you can walk around the back and at certain times it'll, it'll sense the key fob you have in your briefcase or purse or pocket. It'll actually project the Chevrolet bow tie image uh, un underneath the vehicle so you know exactly where to swing your foot and it will re sense that and it'll open up the rear lift gate for you. So little conveniences like that. Other things like on the uh, uh, passenger side, a smart slide second row seat. So it's important for people to have access to that third row, but it's important for people to easily access that third row. So with a very simple pull of a lever, you can actually tumble that, that second row captain's chair forward and get into that third row and you can even do it if there was a if there was a child seat in that second row seat. so you think about uh, how people it's not enough to have a great third row it's about having access to that third row and that's certainly something we've we've improved significantly uh, with this vehicle how about under the skin anything different from a powertrain uh, drivetrain chassis yep. suspension all new and so you think about so we have a brand new version of the 36 it'll deliver more power significantly more fuel economy which is again what customers are looking for made it to a nine speed transmission that's new for this vehicle we'll actually bring in the two liter turbo variant no uh, in, the, in the uh, rs version so mm -hmm. you know when you think about what else is new about this product you know we do a great job with this with our traditional trim lineup so our LS, our LT, and our Premier model, but we're, we're, we're here with the High Country model, so thinking about extending the range. Uh, so now we've got a vehicle that has gives people that may have been in, in one or two traverses something significantly different. So kind of taking a page out of our High Country strategy from trucks, so this will have unique features uh, as well, uh, and the, that RS variant, so that more blacked out look, so blacked out grill, uh, accents, black wheels, you know, kind of some red accents, so uh, really giving people much more variety in the segment. When will we see this new one in the showroom? Uh, we're talking about late summer of, of 2017. So mm -hmm. we're sitting here in January. We're about, let's call it eight months away. So okay. uh, it can't come fast enough, but you know what? The current generation Traverse is doing a great job for us. We had a record year with that vehicle. We had our best year ever for Traverse in 2017. So we're coming into the launch with this one with a lot of momentum uh, in a segment that's ready for this with a customer base and a dealer base that's ready and we're excited. Steve, thanks so much for your time. Very thanks interesting what you've done with yep. the Traverse. And I've been watching it. I know it's been doing pretty well. Can only imagine the new one will do better. Yeah, and with all the utilities that we've got, everything from Bolt EV to the restyled tracks to Equinox Traverse, market dominant Tahoe Suburban, we're in a really good place for where market demand is. And that's kind of a core Chevrolet strength. So we look forward to it. Good deal. Thanks again. Okay. Thanks a lot. Keep tuning in. we got a lot more coming to you from the floor of the North American International Auto Show. At IAC, inspiration comes from within, and it shows in every material choice we make, every surface technology we develop, and every design detail we obsess over. 
Because as a global leader in automotive interior components, we understand that it's what's inside that truly drives us all. It's why we create solutions that seamlessly connect consumer to car, sight to sound to touch. Visit IACgroup.com and be inspired.